Hello listeners, Chelsea K. Podcaster here. Welcome to today's podcast on Breakthrough. Everybody needs a breakthrough in life to overcome obstacles and situations. I've spoken about this topic before, but I'm going to speak about it in a different way because it needs to be heard again. We are facing difficulties in this time and we need a breakthrough. Are you faced with challenges that you find that are too difficult for you? Maybe it's time for you to get that breakthrough that you need. If you're willing to pursue and push yourself hard to get it, you will make it and you will see the results are great. Perseverance and persistence are the greatest things that we can have in order to push our limits to go beyond what we're able to do. And to take on the challenges that will make us better. Sometimes people don't like to be challenged because things are difficult and they want to have a joyful ride. They want to enjoy their life and they want things to be going well. But it doesn't work that way in life. We need to be willing to work hard to get the things that we desire. Our motivation must be there in order for us to persist, to be a better person, to achieve goals and dreams that we've always had in our hearts and in our mind, or even to better other people or better ourselves. You need that breakthrough in life in order to see yourself move forward towards the direction that you've always wanted. Because maybe you're pretty tired of dealing with situations you're going through now. You may not always enjoy what you're doing, especially if you're doing a job that you don't like and you're doing it because you know you need the money and you need the experience or that you need it in order to graduate for your program that you're studying or other reasons why you would take the pro- why you would go this route and endure the process even though you may not enjoy what you're doing. Or you may be in a transition. And there may be the other case where because you're waiting for the better job that you have been promised to be given, but you don't know when it's going to show up and you're taking on this other one as a filler for time in order to gain experience, in order to keep yourself in the working force or whatever other reasons you can say and think of. There are many reasons why you would want to stay employed, especially in this time. So many difficulties have happened already and people are fighting to get a job or to stay employed or to create income just so that they can survive the pandemic that they're going through. And everyone is taking it on in a different light in the best way that they can think of, whether it's by saving whether it's by creating more funds for themselves or in the fact that they are trying to improve their life much more better than before. So there may be concerns that are on your mind, things that you are thinking about that you want to see improved in life. And it's not always easy. You know that you need to pursue and make decisions in order to see the results that you want. And there will always be people in your life that you may not want to be there with them because those people may not be the best people in your life to help you go forward. Good people know how to keep friends that are right for them and to stick only with those who are willing to do the right thing. But other people who are there that are not in for there to help you, you need to be wise to get rid of those connections as quickly as you can and to move on. Otherwise, you're going to continue to be stuck and you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to continually be frustrated and negative about who you are, about them, or anything else. You're going to see that things are not going the way you wanted to. Because you've already been living that cycle and you should be tired of it already. You should actually make the decision to come out of that relationship. And rather than continue to let it 
pester you and affect you for life. Because nobody else can get you out of it if you are not willing to try to change your life. If you cannot see yourself in a better way, you will not want to make the effort to try. So there are problems when people don't want to do things. They may want to just look at people and expect them to do something. And it doesn't work that way. You do have to make a decision. You do have to choose wisely. You have to know what you want to do in life and how you want to move forward. You need to go for progress. Because the world is always changing and people are always changing in their behaviors and attitudes over time. As things happen to them, they will transform their attitudes. Or there are the other types who don't want to change, who will consistently be stubborn in their ways. And they may be a serious hindrance for you. So why not consider moving on and cutting off connections with those people? And see yourself in a way with the people who are doing stuff that actually makes an impact on life. That actually can change you and progress your life to move forward. Don't you want that more than anything else? There are so many people that really want to have a better life for themselves. They don't want to be stuck in the same situations over and over again. And they're not happy with where they are. They continually improve themselves to get better. And they strive to extra excellence so that they can achieve better things, have a better life for themselves. But it, the best thing is the people who influence others, who impact people's lives, who really care and concern for the other people and make a difference for them. Do things to care for others. It is more beneficial when you care for other people. When you know how to move forward in your life by giving into other people's lives, but yet still making sure that you are taken care of, you will see how beautiful life can be. You may not always like the situation in the beginning, and it seems like it may be much for you. Remember that you must keep the right connections with you all the time, because there will be people around who will want to take from you who are not going to benefit you. Just because you have doesn't mean you have to give. Remember, there are only the right people that you want to know and be connected to. People that will help you to move forward and help you grow to become better and better. You don't want to be giving into people who are not willing to help out in a better way to make you better. If the person is always going to be asking you for a favor and taking advantage of you, you should stay far away from those kinds of people and cut them from your life. You should have nothing to do with them because all they're going to do is drain you in the end. And some people even cry because the relationship is so bad that they cannot keep it. And the thing is, do you really want people to have a bad in name and reputation of you? because of who you're associated with. That association will cost you a lot in the eyes of people, especially if you care about your reputation before people. But if you don't, then it's not going to be an issue for you. Just keep in mind, not everybody is willing to take that sacrifice to be humiliated by others. So if you are not one of those people, I recommend that you avoid it as much as possible. Try to stay away from those kinds of people who will do you harm, who are not going to be a benefit to you, because they're just going to destroy your, your reputation for life. And you're not going to be happy if you don't change and get away from them. There are so many things that need to be done, and, and you are the only person who can help yourself. Other people can give you wisdom, give you guidance and tips, but if you don't apply them, how are you going to come out of your situation? That is up to you to make a decision to decide to come out of it. You cannot expect the other person to push you all the time to do something. You have to take the chance to do it yourself. 
remember you have been given a chance to take your life and to do what needs to be done don't rely on the other people to make the choice for you because if you allow people to decide for you that means you cannot choose your own life and you cannot make a decision on your own people can take advantage of you very easily when you don't know what to do to learn to break out of your cycles out of the things that you're comfortable about because your comfort zone is always going to be a danger to you and prevent you from moving forward into the better things that you need. Hope that you will take the time to meditate and to look into your situation, to take the steps, to plan and to decide and to think and dwell on those things that matter. You can always listen to motivational speeches, but unless you apply what you need to do and strategize for your life, you will not see a be your life better than it is now. You will only continue to be in the same cycle on and on and on until you decide to do something different. Thank you for listening to Chelsea K Podcast channel. Check the links and check the details. If you want to support, please send your support by e-transfer or to PayPal at kayunkk at gmail.com. And you can also like, share, and subscribe to this channel or to YouTube or whatever platform you are listening on. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day and afternoon and evening. Hope it's free to hear from you soon or that you would stay tuned for the next podcast.